journey into guitar playing started with listening to a lot of Led Zeppelin, Alice Cooper, Bowie, and definitely Jimmy Page, Michael Bruce, Glenn Buxton, the guys in Aerosmith, Brad Whitford, Joe Perry. Those are, those are my beginnings. And wanting to appreciate those songs that I grew up on on another level. Being able to, to play them is just a joy compared to listening, obviously. You've done all the work studying, learning every little bit uh, as a non guitarist <laughs> and then once I started to play it's just getting to play those songs was uh, was the key that's what really got me into it I would put on live albums and just play along and memorize non-stop just play constantly over and over and over I, I'd skateboard and I'd play guitar I'd come home from school and play for hours and hours and hours and that was just uh, it, it never got old and it still hasn't gotten old it's just all I do <laughs> you know I played I played guitar I played the electric guitar first growing up that was you know that's what I, I gravitated towards and then I kind of I had an interest in classical for a long time and um, I think that kind of transitioned into my current guitar playing where I, I find myself playing with my fingers a lot more you know kind of hybrid picking a little bit more chicken picking stuff I can still play the stuff with a pick but it just feels a little bit better that's my thing, I guess. <laughs> I always liked Slash too. That was always, you know, I was always a fan. I don't know, he's a very human guy. He's just, uh, he's very inspiring too, because all he does is play guitar. Like, I know some people at that level, it's like, you don't have to keep playing or they just don't keep up on it, but he's one of those guys that does all day, every day, and it just kind of, it inspires me. So I'm just constantly playing guitar as well. But uh, for me to play with him, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy the way it all came about. And after seven years now playing with him, uh, I think we all have the same idea and, and the same game plan, which is just to go out there and, and have a great show and play our best, and it's just what it is. And I think you could see that on stage. It's like we're all having fun, and, and Slash is just getting better by the day, and uh, it really does translate to the rest of the band. So I started playing juniors um, not too long ago. Over the past couple of years, I realized the versatility of the junior and how such a simple guitar could be so dynamic, just one pickup. But for me, I feel like I've always gravitated towards um, single pickup guitars because I felt like it was kind of outside of the box, um, especially on a Les Paul, but uh, it just makes so much sense on a junior. Um, I have triple pickup guitars too, which I love, but it's uh, it's different. I feel like you know you have to you have to make it work, which you know it does. <laughs> but uh, again, one pickup is just uh, it's so cool to me. I feel like it's so simple, and it's just I have been attracted to those for a while. But um, playing with Slash, the guy's got humbuckers in that situation. It really balances us out. You could even play this in a jazz setting, and I know that it's like the P90 and, and this guitar in general. It just really cover all the bases. Obviously, it's a, it's a mainstay in the punk world. But uh, again, I do think it can cover any genre. It's the perfect weight. It's not too light and it's not too heavy, you know? And the you got a nice, nice big neck the way I think a junior should be. Having some time with this, this feels like the most well-built uh, and solid one I've played in forever. Another thing I love about these guitars is that all the notes come uh, built in. You know what I mean? So you don't have to go buy them elsewhere. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've played a guitar where the pot was either on or it was off. You might get one, you might, and you're just definitely gonna get 10. It's either one or 10, and uh, this audio taper pot is fantastic because you, you hear from zero all the way to 10. I love that um, every guitar has something in it and you just have to find it and you know you may have heard that before it's just something that I, I totally believe I, no matter what I've played so many different guitars and there's a certain vibe there's a certain look and and feel to each and every one of them so when you pick it up it's just something comes out like I, I realize that there there are millions of riffs and you know millions of things you can play, but uh, every single time I've picked up a new guitar, there's some, if I have at least 10 minutes with it, there's just something that comes out of it, and that's just rewarding. And and playing the guitar for me is always rewarding, whether you know. And I love playing all sorts of different styles, so I feel like there's no way it could ever get old. It's just my favorite thing. Gibson has carried on that tradition of uh, mind blowing <laughs> today, all the way till today. I, I could I could play this all day. I plan on it if you let me, so. <laughs> 